Ready? I'm sitting so to the side. Like, I don't even feel like we're sisters right now. I feel like we're strangers. Oh! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am here with my sister Natalia <laughs> And I actually want to thank beyond app for sponsoring this video because I decided to take on the face-off Challenge and I'm transforming my sister's look and it's going to be fabulous If you guys didn't already know beyond app is a Chinese shopping app where you can safely purchase brand name items from all over the world And there are so many options There's like fashion and hair if you're into that kind of stuff and I just decided to take on the Makeup face-off challenge. So here it is. So that being said if you guys want to see how I transform my sister's look Then please keep on watching Alrighty, so first things first, we're starting with clean skin and moving on to the brows. I am using the NARS Brow Perfector. This is in the shade Dark Brown Warm. And I am just lifting up the brow and filling in any sparse areas, as well as brushing in between just to soften up the product. And then once we have the desired look, I like to go in with a little bit of concealer. I am grabbing this Hourglass one. And on a straight edge brush, I am just underlining the brow, highlighting it, and concealing any imperfections that there might be. This just really cleans up the brow. And then to set the eyebrows, I'm going in with the Hourglass Clear Brow Gel and just doing one coat of that. This really just lays the brow hairs down and they stay in place all day long. Moving on to the eyes, I love doing the eyes first. That just helps prevent fallout from getting onto your foundation. So I'm moving on with the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is great if you have oily eyelids. For the eyeshadows, I am going to be using the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions Eyeshadow Palette and dipping my fluffy brush into this beautiful brown eyeshadow. And I am just taking this along the outer corners and into the crease. When you're doing makeup on somebody else, don't be afraid to lift up that brow bone if you really need to get in there. And then for the next eyeshadow, I'm going in with a little bit of a deeper mauve shade and grabbing a little bit more of a tapered defined brush. I'm gonna just pack this color onto the lower lash line and blending it up into the crease and outer corner. And then once we have that down, I'm going in with a little bit of a darker brown and then just deepening up that eye look to make sure that everything is blended and we have a really pretty gradient smoky eye. Alright, so now I'm gonna go in with black and I'm just starting from the upper lash line and then working my way up using very very small amounts and then building up if needed moving on we're going metallic and i'm going to be using the stila metals eyeshadow it's like the liquid eyeshadow it's so crazy like metallic-y and sparkly it's so pretty and this is in the shade bronzed bell and i am just applying that all over the eyelid and pressing that in with a synthetic flat shader brush and really packing on this eyeshadow and then I'm also going to be cleaning up fallout from underneath the eyes, coating the lashes with the Hourglass Caution Mascara. You don't have to worry about getting the perfect mascara application because we are using falsies anyways. These are the Huda Beauty Gazelle or Giselle eyelashes. <laughs> and I am just popping those on and then to conceal the lash band I am going to use the Bobbi Brown liquid eyeliner and I always do this just because the eye look looks way better once everything is blended and no lash band is showing. Alrighty, so moving on to skin, I am going to be priming with the YSL Blur Primer, applying that all over the face. And then for the foundation, I am using the Dior Forever. This is the perfect makeup everlasting foundation and oh my goodness you guys i'm obsessed with this foundation it is i love it it's so high coverage very thin and lightweight it looks like your skin and your skin literally just looks absolutely flawless and i'm just obsessed with it this is in the shade linen anyways for the concealer i am going to be using the ysl this is the all hours concealer and this is in the shade 
0.5 and I just applied three dots underneath the eyes, well little lines, and that just did the job with concealing and highlighting. This again is a really lightweight formula but very very full coverage so I really love these two products for the skin. And then to set underneath the eyes and the t-zone I'm using the Hourglass Loose Translucent Powder and this is the best powder. It's so luxurious, it's very creamy, lightweight underneath the eyes. It blurs your skin and sets your face so it doesn't look shiny or oily throughout the day and it's just a really beautiful, beautiful powder. So once we have everything dusted off and everything is set, I'm going to be finishing up the lower lash line and just applying a cream eyeliner into the waterline. This really helps with opening up your eyes and it doesn't look too, too dark, but then I really wanted to have a really nice contrast underneath the lower lash line. So I really defined the lower lash line with some of the shadows that we use from the Huda Beauty palette and finished it off with some mascara. Finishing off the skin, I'm going in with my lovely NARS Laguna bronzer. This is my second time or third time repurchasing it already. I love this bronzer. It's really, really pretty. And I am just applying it to the perimeter of her face. So the temple, the forehead area, and then the contours of her cheekbones, and then the jawline, and a little bit on her nose, just so her nose doesn't disappear in photos. Moving on for blush, I'm using the Clinique Cheek Pop blush and it's so pretty. I'm going to have the name in the description box below and I'm just applying a little bit to the apples of the cheeks and as you guys can tell it just brought some life to her face. And this is the Laura Mercier highlighter in 01 and this just has such a pretty sheen to it and it just gives the illusion that your skin is glowing and it doesn't look glittery or shimmery on the face which is my preference. I love that kind of look. So Natalia's skin just looks really healthy and glowy. For the lipstick, I am using MAC Yash all over the lips and then on top, I'm going in with the NYX Cosmetics Butter Gloss and Fortune Cookie. And then the last thing is setting the face with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Spray to make her skin look youthful and radiant and that is the finished look. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. Natalia, how do you feel? I don't feel like myself. <laughs> you guys, we had so much fun filming this and we want to challenge you to do your own transformation. You can do anything from hair to fashion to makeup, but be sure to tag Tanya so that we can get to see your skills. Yes. All right, guys, we're going to get going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button down below. We love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>